Okay, everybody, now check this out. I want you to look at my eyes very closely. I'm gonna open them up here in a second, okay? Bear with me, okay? So, I'm gonna open them up. Now, what you wanna be looking for is a kind of like a reflection type thing right above right above and maybe a little bit on the um, on the top of the pupil now uh, is there a person that I'm aware of that experienced extremely high levels of uh, um, that experienced continuous the medium to approaching high levels of electromagnetic weapons yesterday for over in fact, it could have been anywhere between 36 to 18 hours, okay? Now, when you use a moderate level, but yet it's continuous, okay, what it can do is it, cause, it can cause the eye fluids in your eyes along with the water in your eyes to form into little bubbles, and um, including if they're faintly uh, able to be seen or not, or if they can be widely seen or not. And then what that does is that pushes the back side of the remote neural monitoring islands and plants in your eyes out. So if they hit you with a moderate level, yet it's continuous all day, that's going to start slowly boiling the eye fluid in the water, causing it to bunch up into little, into little sacks. Now, sometimes if they hit you with high, very high levels, then you can, uh, huge sacks will form that will massively, okay, uh, cause them to come out. So let's take one more look. Because the eye fluid sacs and the water sacs appear on the surface of the eyes, and it's on the surface of the eyes that the RN, RNM eye lens implants are on. Okay, so you want to look at the reflective part that's right towards the top of the pupil. Okay, both eyes. Thank you for listening, everybody. Have a good day.